the President's decision to increase support for the Syrian opposition, including the Supreme Military Council, the SMC, which is, uh, again, the principal fighting force on the ground that we've been working with. Those are decisions that he's made over the course of the last several weeks, um, particularly as our assessment of chemical weapons use uh, firmed up uh, and as we saw a deteriorating situation in general uh, with outside actors like Iran and Hezbollah getting involved. Uh, so this has been a steady increase for us. Uh, you know, we have steadily increased both the size and scope of our assistance, the political opposition and to the SMC, and, and we've decided to take an additional step forward in providing uh, a, a dramatically increased assistance uh, to the <laughs> SMC going forward. Um, at the same time, uh, you know, this is a fluid situation, so it's necessary for him to consult with uh, all the leaders at the G8 about uh, both our chemical weapons assessment uh, and the types of support we're providing to the opposition. We've had differences with Russia uh, on Syria, um, and uh, all I'd say with respect to the chemical weapons uh, assessment that we briefed to them uh, is that we have a broad range of evidence associated with uh, the multiple incidents of chemical weapons use uh, that we assessed took place. Um, that includes um, open source reporting, it, it includes uh, intelligence reporting, it includes uh, the accounts of individuals, it also includes physiological samples uh, of sarin uh, that we've obtained from uh, within Syria. Um, so we assess with high confidence that sarin has been used, uh, and frankly, uh, the regime maintains custody of these weapons. Uh, so uh, both because of our own uh, intelligence assessment and because of the fact that we uh, believe that the regime has uh, maintained possession of its chemical weapons arsenal, uh, leads us to the very firm conclusion that any use of chemical weapons would have been uh, by the regime.